Hello everyone, I'm Boomer Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Old Red Blues, playing as Area 51 Enclave, of course, created by the Boomer. So let's do our next focus, since we are all done with the focuses, or the foci, down at the bottom of this page. Uh, con stuff. Oh, we could use some composite materials. Let's go with goods for the cons. The cons have been yearning for goods and jobs, now's the time to give them some. So, let us evaluate what I've done. At the end of yesterday, I asked you guys whether I should give all of the Utah territories to our Utah provisional government, and I have. According to the flying screen, or the strategic air map mode, this is all Utah territory, and I gave it all to them. And But we do need to get North Utah for our government. That being said, I did take away some of the territories of heaven from Nevada, as well as down here, of Southern Nevada, all of Nevada, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So they all have Utah territory. No Nevada territory, which I took back and made it uncord for them, and now I'm trying to get more compliance, but we're going to go to war soon with the Undercity, Vault City, and maybe eventually with the Troll Warren, just because the Trolls are probably one of the greatest threats to the Wasteland right now. Also, I do want to keep an eye on the Enclave down here, and that was most of the comments. Most of the comments were just from yesterday's video were about the Utah Provisional Government and to make Utah whole again. But I really want to see what the Enclave Occupy Dayglow will do. They get a focus against... Uh, the Rapids to become a puppet or just straight up annex them, which would be cool. They have a goal against the Tohono Nation as well as the Cowboy Country, which sounds awesome. Let's see anything else. Repair stuff. Naval schematics. And they also eventually get war goals against the Boneyard, NCR, the Hub, and Western Brotherhood. So that'd be kind of cool. Even though they might not get one against the Scorpions. We'll see what happens. I kind of want to go to war with these guys, but we'll see what happens with the Enclave down there. Alright, so we're going to just let our guys move in and take out these guys first. Thank you very much. And we're going to instantly start justifying on these folks. Oh, it only takes 15 days. God dang. Very nice. And Vault City has joined them, which is good for us. Alright, everyone, just go go right on in. They've started moving, so we should lower their organization, which is a great idea for us to get rid of them, basically. Basically get rid of them. That is Scorpions. And then we have... Is it just Scorpions we did? Oh, you guys are doing nothing in industrial support. We got logistics. Logistics 3. Let's do Heaven's Gate for funsies, too. And... Uh, what do we want? Rocket launchers? Sure. Better rocket launchers sound like a good idea. The fall of New Reno. Hopefully they'll burn that place to the ground. Look at that troll warrant. It's looking... Wait, they, they took out the mining corporation, too. Oh, boy. Replicators. Very nice. I do have a cup of coffee here. That'll satisfy our need for a drink as well as... Thirst, I guess. I don't know. See what happens. Robots, well, we do more breakthrough, I suppose. I don't think there's really any hard push for us to really do too much with robots. What is our production like? Oh, uh, we have 132 factories, which is, you know, it's okay. Oh, we can go to war with them too, that's nice. But, let's see. We'll see what happens. Oh, and there goes Nurino. Awesome. Let's finish those guys off, finish those, those guys off, and maybe do... Wow, everyone want Heaven, Heaven's Gates territory. Wowzers. Cool, let's finish them off. We have until when? Yeah, until September 4th. So we got a little bit of time before we need to go to war with them, which would be great. Yeah, the Troll Warren are looking pretty darn mean. Do they have any manpower? No, they don't, so that's probably not good for their resistance levels. Uh, Cold of Lupa is looking pretty good, as well as said. Red Sun Republic. Good for the cons. Let's do Ruby Hill, Ruby Hill Mines. So Ruby Hill still holds many resources from before the bombs dropped. It's time to now take advantage, or advanta, and mine them. Cool. Oh, I guess we do have enough of this for now. That's okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, don't get it from them. Get it from Flagstaff. That's fine with me for now. That cuts into our territory a little bit, but whatever. Flagstaff is looking pretty mighty mighty. Oh, they're fighting the Blackfoot. Fall of Vault City. Very nice. Very nice. A thousand guys. Thirteen. Thirteen divisions. Blackstaff has 41, and no manpower. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. I, you will make a delicious addition to our Enclave territories. It'd be cool if we could merge the Enclaves together. That'd be really cool. I wonder if that could be like an Easter egg in like one of the games here. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. And then we'll go to war with Heaven's Gate, because we can. Send the tanks in from this side. The Vault of Eden, and send the biggest baddest power armor over here. Uh, and throw one guy right there. You can let time go on just a little bit. That's fine. I do want to core some of these areas now that are 
literally just under us, prioritize. Uh, sure, why not? Wasteland cars, cool. Very, very awesome. How many APCs? I did want to convert some of our infantry to APCs. That would be a smart decision to take, and to make, and to do. So a lot of some of this territory isn't cored by the provisional government, which is fine, because they'll core it eventually, probably. Because they're going getting 0.2 compliance a day, which is pretty nice. Let's see. Mm, spread out Good, 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 good. That's good, good, good. We're doing really, really well, my friends. So I'm thinking, at the time of this recording... Oh, we can do this. Nice. Good, good. Uh, tomorrow's video will probably be the last video in this campaign, just so that we start wrapping this up and maybe moving on, just because we've done pretty much all the focuses by the end of today's video, probably. This looks really disgusting, actually, this border stuff, but whatever. Um, yeah, we'll probably end this campaign with tomorrow's video. Like I said in the last video, I really have no intention of making this a wasteland conquest, so... But we do want to finish off Utah and take out the Troll War and have a good time overall. How many divisions do these guys have? Because we have quite the border with these fellas. They have no manpower. They have 85. Ooh, that is not good. Evanston is next. Well, can the Washington Brotherhood do something against the Troll War? Technological breakthrough. They are allied with New Victoria, it looks like, or someone else. And someone else. Combined operations. Very all supremacy. Cool. Oh, uh, they cannot attack the war yet. Why can't they get do this? Have a border with us? Huh. Well, are they going to go to the... Oh, the final threat. On the causes... Oh, the causes territory. Oh, okay, so they're probably going to go to war anyways. Nice. Rocket launchers. Great. Just in case. You never know. Tanks are looking great. Maybe need one more rifle, maybe? Maybe one more doggo? But definitely, definitely, definitely need more Wasteland APCs. Let's grab a little bit from these guys. That'd be fine with me. And let's keep building ourselves up, because it's always nice to build yourself up. It's always good to improve yourselves, my friends. Always good. Even just a little bit a day. Just a little bit. How many men have we lost? We've lost one versus 3,000. I've had better casualty rates so far. <laughs> uh. But that's usually what happens early game. Let's get some more resource efficiency gains. We don't have to spend our own factories to get things that we should already have. Ruby Held Mines, there you go. Jobs for the crippled. I love the crippled. Many are too old and injured to do much work. Or to do too much, period. And we can make smaller jobs for them by having them do minor work that helps them in the bigger picture. Ah, more civilian factories. What a great idea. Uh, let you guys do this. Or not. Please. Oh, okay. I clicked on the wrong group. That's fine. Whatever. Great. Just take the Exodus. That'd be awesome. So we can go to war with Heaven's Gate next. Uh, that's a case. Hmm. These borders aren't going to look very good. I don't have enough divisions, I think, for this. That's okay. So, you are going to come over here. Because I don't have enough divisions. They'll probably kill themselves on our line quite a bit, which is fine with me. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Let's go. We have, like... There's a little hole there. Oh, that hole probably won't matter too much as long as we can cover it. Cover our holes. Um, something like that. That'd be fine. You guys finish off down here. I could probably use more divisions. Am I making any more APCs? Let's make two at a time. That'd be nice. Cool. We have a war goal until the 3rd of November. Ah, there goes the Troll Warren. Good. Great, great, great. That's a little bit of manpower. Maybe eh, we have enough caps for now. Clamp down on autonomy. Good stuff. Can I core anything? Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Oh, I can core this. Yeah, I guess Grand Walsh. I just want to get rid, of, get rid of resistance. That's my biggest deal if you follow my channel. You know I love doing that all the time. Advanced cooling systems. Very nice. Let's grab some of that. Let's see. Do we have any other planes that we could throw on our guys? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Jet fighters, maybe not. Gunships. No, I did say earlier, I did want to use, like, transports to pair drop into enemy nations and stuff like that. At this point in the campaign, it's a little too late, in my opinion, just because if you do it early game, it makes more sense. Right now, we can just kind of just push as hard as we flip and want to, so... It is what it is. I'm going to tell my power armor to just go on ahead. If they find an enemy, they can just probably just blow it up. Oh! Okay, the, they want... Everyone hates Heaven's Gate. Well, all right, well, good, good, good luck, guys. Hmm, maybe I should have given you orders. 
They're attacking around here. No. All right. Well, whatever. Luke Johnston. No. No. Okay. Very nice. Uh, you guys are doing okay. You guys. It would really help if I gave you orders. There you go. Now they'll do well. Uh, let's see. They have 81 divisions. That's quite a few. That's quite a few. Post post that, they've lost 1,500 guys already. Awesome. Let me get a little sip of this boomer coffee here. And of course, the infantry already has anti-tank on them. Of course, because why not? Manpower-wise, they have less than 400 by now. Volatile fuels, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a very boomer thing to do, conventional warfare. A boomer thing to do is make inefficient governments, I guess. You know, they'll, they'll do okay. Especially down here, too. Especially under Tlaloc. That's very good. Very good. I get all these guys to attack as well, but I don't feel like it. Nah, they're not going to attack yet. Oh, look, an encirclement. That's kind of an encirclement. Sort of. Oh, you know what? Just call these guys in, too. I'm doing this for you, man. Very nice. Fainted men declare one Robo City. Robot City. Robo City. New Victoria. Hello. So it looks like the Brotherhood is not winning so far. Well, maybe not exactly. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Jobs for the ca crippled. And let's do unrelenting, unrelenting work ethic. Work ethic. We are not afraid of work. We must push ourselves to the limits. We get more resource efficiency, gain great, less consumer goods factories, more max factories in a state, production efficiency cap, and construction speed goes up for civilian factories. Yes, yes, yes. That's like my dream come true. Yes. Give me more resources. Give me more factories. That sounds like that sounds like Victoria too. Give me more factories. I need a better industrial score. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so they lost... Uh, I thought they'd lose about 2,000. They've lost over 8,000 already. That ain't bad. And these guys have enough planning now that I think they should do pretty darn well. We all already have a lot of, um... Thingies. Thingies? Planes. They're called planes. Usually they're called planes. A song from the front. Let's get some more war support. War support's looking a little lacking right now. At 41%. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, we need dogs. How many more doggos? How do I forget about those beautiful things? Those beautiful creatures. Um, go ahead and make one more mil- mm, Let's make two more military factories. There you go. That should be good. We should get enough doggos soon enough. Minus 13. Oh, oh. We might need more. Hold on. If that's the case, we're not really using too, using too many transports right now. It's okay. We can lower that as well. Good. We should have production to do enough production to do all that. There you go. Nice for the bone yard. Very good. Very good. We can, uh, Eastern Grand Canyon. Now that we've cored it, now we can make it a tourist trap. Yes, I think that would be very good for monetary gain if we needed monetary gain. If we need it. Oh, we have another one here. Uh, grab that. I'm not really sure what I'm doing anymore with research because it doesn't even matter at this point. And that's okay. Ooh, you guys are all down here. What? Let's go ahead and finish these guys off. Finish them off. Anyone have upgrades? No. No. And that's okay. Alright, so I've lost about... I would say 10,000, but okay. 15,000 looks pretty good. Pretty good. We've lost less than 100 so far. Hmm. Very nice. Obviously, no one's going to get anything from this except me, because, well, I'm really the only one pushing against them. Actually, how much manpower does the Brotherhood have? I can't imagine they have a lot. Yeah, they have none. Patrol Warren have none. Port Mall has none. New Victoria has 400. This is a really disappointing war. But these people are going to struggle so much, I'm going to love it. You know what? Maybe I should have gone to war with the Brotherhood and the Troll Worm first before Heaven's Gate. I don't have enough divisions to guard the line. Hmm. Oh well. You guys are going down there. You know what? Do double Brotherhoods. I might just take them out too. Looks like the Troll Worm probably are doing well. Oh! Uh-oh. The Washington Brotherhood's going to get hit from two sides. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Unrelenting work ethic, I believe, yes. Troll Warner next. And then we shall do the guns shall sing. The guns shall sing underscore desk. I love it. Let's do that too. Better anti tank, or, yeah. Tesla cannons. They're not, that's not anti tank, that's just Tesla cannons. Uh, clamp down on autonomy. What do I want to look at? Oh, coring stuff? Sure. Maybe. I don't think we have, yeah, we don't have enough money or stuff here yet. Uh, a lot. Some of this is cord, which is really good. Some of this is not. Probably need like 238. That's cool. It's fine. Whatever. Kind of surprised I haven't died yet, but but whatever. 
guys moving in, doing a great job. What do we need next? We need post falls. APCs, you can probably move pretty darn quick around to get there. 5.7 kilometers per hour, awesome. And we now we can go to War of the Troll Warren, which we have probably until end of March. You know, I say this in quite a few videos, but how are we already 15 minutes into this video? I'm having too much fun with this to be this far in. Oh, we already have a navy. Well, it's a small navy. I really don't want a navy. So I'll make some convoys. I just want to use you and abuse you for XP that I'll never use. Ah, uh, an enclave Alfred Alpha who has a good promotion cost or no. Career officer. Great. I love career officers. You know, everyone wants a piece of Heaven's Gate. But no one deserves a piece of Heaven's Gate except for me. Obviously. Obviously. Good, good, good. Arthur, go ahead and lead them. Alfred, Arthur, why do you have two fr first names? I don't know. Uh, that should be okay. You know what? Put you all on the front lines. That sounds like fun. We're going to kill off the Troll Warren because Washington Brotherhood is going to get hit up there pretty hard. And we're going to move in, like, there. Oh, you know what? It would help you if I did this. Don't want to forget about that. Boomer tanks. Looking awesome. Cool. Everyone get ready. Breach the facility. Oh, hell yeah. What is this? We are stuck. A massive security door blocks our path, yet with enough explosives, we might manage to get through. Is it wise, though? The door seems to be made of both to keep something inside as well as us outside. Hell yeah. Oh, plasma weaponry. Many of us have wondered how the U.S. Army learned to build plasma equipment, and it seems Area 51 has the answer. Some of the schematics are in a language or code we can't comprehend, but we've pieced together enough details to build the guns. Oh my goodness. Can I build guns? Oh, wait, what am I looking at the foci? Son, we've got it. We got, wait, we got mass drivers too? Little green men. There's little green men. Has any nation unraveled the mystery of Area 50? Oh, yeah. Plasma rifles versus improved mass drivers. Well, actually, you know what? Let's look at these two, because that's what matters more. Oh, I need to get that better power armor. So, Gauss rifles are on the left. Winchester plasma rifles are on the right. So, same defense. This is more soft attack. Same. This has quite a bit less piercing. We've got scrap shacks cost just a tiny bit more, so it doesn't matter. Same reliability, same speed. This is a little bit less heart attack, but same amount of breakthrough. It looks like this is more soft attack and less piercing. Well, I don't care about piercing too much for regular guns, so we'll probably go with plasma rifles. Gauss rifles? Yeah, they're okay. You know, immediately go for plasma rifles. I don't care how ahead of time it is. I don't care about how ahead of time it is either. Let's do that for both. Because we might not ever get there. And that's okay. Alright, so we have until when... Very good. Now, the Brotherhood must... Probably is not going to do well? Oh, well, I guess... <sighs> they... Cascadia did not go to war with the Washington Brotherhood just yet. They might. They might not. It is up in the air, my friends. I could raise my level of this stuff. Bring your civilization. Just if I... Just if I work all times, it's not bad to do. Economic... Eh, this is... This is all okay stuff. I mean, 50% for infrastructure is awesome, but... Is it really necessary right now? Probably not. Industrial support, energy weapons, demo, combat robots, I'm not really using those. Eh, more power armor reliability. That's not bad. Kinda like that. I never used the greaser, so let's choose that one. I never use it, so let's do it. Ah, an APC, I love it. How many APCs we got? Actually, doggos are looking fabulous. APCs are looking great as well. They're looking so good. You, I've selected this boomer patrol to become an APC. No, 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 wrong one. APC. Oh, vital tra point targeting. Great. Missile launchers it is. And another piece of power armor. Great. The guns shall sing. Absolutely. Now we could have a choice. We could make more uh, robots, which is okay, and they use way less cells, but core attack, defense, and core territory. This looks, I like this one quite a bit. Plus 25% division defense is pretty good, but unfortunately, we're going to be attacking a ton. So, more organization, organization regain, reinforce rate, attack, plus 15% more attack, and better supply guys. So, Boomer Platoons, which... There's a lot of description about the Boomer Platoons. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Scavenging program. I, ever since the La Resistance DLC came out, I've really never touched the scavenger program. Oh, I don't want to get this done yet. I don't want to lose our justification. Call all allies in. Just go to move in. We'll probably won't have too many... Yeah. I like green. Not not the troll-worn green, but this brighter green. It's It makes me happier. And I'm going to do this real quick. Good. 
everyone just come there, beat them up. Very nice. And we gotta make sure we have some dockyards for our shippies so they can repair themselves and they can get better. We have a lot of support equipment, it seems. That's nice. Uh, heavy robots, you have five suppression. Sentry robot platoons have some suppression. What if I change this to light robots? Well, I don't really have the XP for it. Uh, that's a little bit less. Eh, we'll see what happens. Sentry bots. Ooh, what else do we need here? Another APC? Great! I'm gonna throw you right there. I'm gonna start converting some of these guys. Maybe two robots? I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. Robo brains, because we can. What do you not have of? Wait, how do we not. Oh, we're taking on a lot of new territory. Which is eh, not really ideal, but whatever. If that's the case, get some more doggos. Maybe I can lower my need of doggos. Break up those, up those, up those. Who dares wins? Great. Oh, tons of ace pilots. That's good. Voice on pacification. Nice. We need less for that. We need le less for the jackals. Less for these guys. Mm. Nice. I should lower our need by quite a bit. 400. God dang. Hmm. So be it. We can lower that by some. We have plenty of tanks right now. Two. Really ramping up the production of how fast. That's amazing. We can breed so many dogs so quickly. That's amazing. It's almost like it's unnatural. Hmm. This boomer coffee, pretty good. Boomer coffee. Only for the most boomerific people. And it looks like I'm gonna have to raise my conscription level. Hmm. So be it. For your conscription. For your conscription. And now we're struggling just a little bit with this. Let you guys go down to medium. Really let the boomer power armor and boomer tanks do the boomer type of thing. Missile launchers, very nice, very nice. Uh, get some heart attack, I like it hard. Very good, escape slaves. Freedom is right up every wastelander under us. Yes, very nice, very nice. Very good, very good. Oh, very nice, very nice. Getting a little bit more manpower. Doggos are having a little bit of an issue as well as APCs. We got bloomer, bloomers. Boomer pl platoons, overwhelming firepower, artillery barrages will shatter our enemies' will and morale. And moral, and once our forces return fire, they will break in terror. Absolutely. Ah, they are getting sandwiched. Which I love. So the faster we can end this war, the better for us, obviously. Uh, just because we have some manpower issues, we might want to focus on a little bit. Yeah. If that's the case, I can sacrifice this for now. Since I do want to convert some other stuff. That'll help a little bit. That's nice. Eh, sporadic outpost, wasteland, wasteland, wasteland. Eh, that's good enough. Go sporadic. We'll need less things to cover that. That'll be good. Hmm. Wasteland, wasteland. Mm, that's not looking good for New Reno. I'll keep that on there for just for a few more days. That's a few more days. A few more days. A few more days. A few more days. Yeah, that's all right. It is what it is. Yeah, we're out of manpower. That's not good. <laughs> Please let us finish this war up as fast as possible. That would be delightful. Actually, you know what? We could probably delete some of our infantry divisions just to save a little, just a tiny bit of manpower. We can always remake more divisions later on, anyways. It doesn't really matter to me. The boomers will do... Well, they'll find a way. The boomers always find a way, but now the war is gone. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. And I will try to be as fair as possible, and by fair as possible, I mean... People... Most people get a, a good chunk of territory. So, Port Maw. I think it makes sense for you to just take all this stuff. That just kind of extends you a little bit more. That's not bad. You got that. New Victoria. Uh, you're probably not going to get anything out of this, just because... You didn't do a whole lot, I think. And you're still fighting someone else, so the Washington Brotherhood should take quite a, chunk, a good chunk of this. They can have the war, uh, so I don't, I, I don't have to take care of it for now. That'd be nice. Um, that's not bad, actually. You know what? I can give him Klamath as well. I can do that. Make it look a little nicer. That's not bad. Mmm, California. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just take it for now. If I had to give it to the Enclave in the South, I'll probably just do that. 
All right, nice. Got a little bit of manpower back. Who do we want to go to war with next? The Timberline? Sure, why not? Because we love it. Because we want to. Because we love the Timberline. We can let a little bit of time go on. No, oh, we need some manpower. Wait, what the? Oh, okay, port model is annexed. Okay, well, I guess I cucked... Well, I guess I didn't give that to me New Victoria, which is good. As well as the port model. Wow, I just gave him territory for free. Wow. Wowzers. Good. And then you all come right there. It won't really matter too much. Get one tank guy right there. Doesn't matter. Come on. Thank you. Very nice. Then throw one guy over here. Nope, not that one. Not bad. We're still out of manpower, though. Hmm. That is a lot of manpower that we're missing. No, we're trying to get more manpower. Actually, you know what? I did say I want to do this, so let's make sure we give this to our allies, since this is proper Utah territory, and we don't need a garrison places that we want to help our ally out. That should be that should be nice for us. That's nice. Now let's double check. Ooh, they need this little piece of territory too, but is that it? It looks like that's it. I don't know why Utah deserves this Twin Falls, but whatever. There you go. That is Utah. Very cool. Have they been coring territory? No. That's okay. I guess they don't want to. They don't feel like it. Cult of Lupa, well, good luck with that. Industrial support, oh, alright. And you know what? You know what? We can cut these guys down in half. Give me you guys. See you later. And that helped us just a little bit as we're trying to mobilize and get rid of some of this all resistance. Which is, of course, not very bueno. So let's get some overwhelming firepower. Did I, get, did I grab the guy that gives us a little... Oh, I did grab the guy. More, less damage to garrisons. That'll be cool. Uh, is there anywhere else I could... Uh, I might be able to call Ranger Citadel eventually. Alarming trend. National settlement in our subjects? It's nothing. We can always lower it later. That's fine with me. We need quite a bit of political power to get rid of some of this resistance stuff. 218, huh? Hmm. Oh, we could probably do that too. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. 89 manpower, so getting a little bit more overwhelming firepower for more attack, and let's do learning to live off the land. We must train our forces how to get food or other supplies in the waste so they can hold out until supply lines are reestablished. Great. And who's trying to raise their autonomy? No, 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 no. That's the big N-O, my friend. The big N-O. Let's grab a few more arms workshops. That sounds pretty good to me. Dot, dot, dot. And let's keep building in places that we need to keep building. Oh no! An agent was killed. That's not good. Well, we'll get another agent very soon. And we're still raising our conscription levels, so that's kind of nice. We'll get more manpower over time. If there's a rebellion, we can always put them down. Especially with that power armor. Oh, I love that power armor so much. A little bit of resistance, manpower issues, whatever. What's the core population? 132,000. That is not a lot of core manpower, but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna do all this stuff later. All right. Demo attack teams, cool. Resistance, Adel Badlands, whatever. So we're missing a little bit less manpower now, or I guess we're missing more manpower now. Okay, well, whatever. We need a few more doggos. Five. Yeah, that's going down, which is good. Yeah, it's going down. No worries about that. Ooh, restore places? That sounds like fun. Uh, Robco Robobrains. Actually, how many robots do I have? Not enough. I really do not have enough support ro robots or combat robots. Because these guys, 12 combat with. They're throwing some dogs. That's the suppression a little bit. What if... I chose to, let's say, 9 for Wendover Republic. Oh, you can go down to this. That'd be good. Um, Utah Provisional Government. Eh, you don't really deserve that as cores, my friend. Uh, is, is anyone else at 100% besides these guys? That's good. Wasteland, Wasteland. 
Wasteland, looking good, looking good, looking good. Hmm. Heaven's Gate 6, 5. Yeah, they definitely need more soldiers there. Ripe Rolt territory. What if we change this? Probably won't work. Boomer armor. <laughs> cool. Oh, crap. Which one was it? Seven combat dog. Oh, this has dogs. So we probably want this one. Are we out of combat robots? Do we need less manpower? That's the question. Eh, not, not by much. I'll grab you, and you can go to the Brotherhood. So, sentry bots. So this is this is not the one we're using. The one the, the it's called Heavy Robot Division. Currently, you probably put them on a little bit more. A few more things, perhaps. On the smaller territories, of course. Oh, we already put them on Ripe Roll. That's nice. Ruby Valm. Heavy Robots. Probably doesn't really change too much, to be honest with you. Nice. Resistance. Eh, whatever. It's going down more and more. As long as we get more and more dogs, that's good. Especially if we can core more areas. But it might take a little bit of time to core more areas. Oh, Zion. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, wow. We instantly had 2,000 more manpower, but then now it's gone. That's okay. You know, things happen. APC, throw you right there, my friend. Throw you right there. Learning to live off the land. Very cool. And we're done with our focus tree. Great. Let's actually just save our manpower, our political power for now. I could do some of this stuff. I mean, that's okay. Multi population, recruitable population. Eh. I want more ma political power right now so I can core more areas. I think that's probably a good idea to do. Are we still mobilizing? I think we are still mobilizing. No, we're not. Oh, that's a little disappointing. We are done mobilizing. We are. We have enough dogs, which is always good to have. Enough doggos. Enough companions. Currently, we get about 2.88 political power a day. And we took out, of course, in this episode, Troll War and Heaven's Gate. We, we've united all of Utah under one provisional government. And I still own this area, too. Area 51 Enclave. Propulsion charge advancements are very good. We'll grab some cyclic firing. Uh, took a little bit of California. The Enclave down here is doing what? Annex the Rapids. I'm going straight up Annex them. They are trying to fight the Boneyard. But is anything really happening against the Boneyard? No man... Er, 215 divisions. That's a lot of divisions. 59 versus 19,000 manpower. So it's a give and take a little bit. That's quite interesting. All right. We'll kind of wait and see what happens there. Uh, I want to see if they can go take the Rapids out. Tona Nation, Cowboy Country, all that good stuff. And we're missing just a little bit more of that. That's fine. The more we core, the more manpower we get. The more... Or the less resistance we'll also get. 287. And well, let's core one more piece of territory before we end the episode. Just one more. Well, actually, you know, it might be worth... Service into dismissal. That actually might be better to do right now. Let's do that. I wanted to core territory, but... Hmm. More power armor. Sure. Impact resistant chassis. Very nice, very nice. Let's come over here, and we're doing that already. Ah. More attack. But, you know what? I guess we'll just end the episode there. So tomorrow, like I said, will be the last episode in this campaign where we take out the Timberline, probably the Washington Brotherhood, and maybe a little part of Arizona and New Mexico. But, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow, as we might watch the Enclave of Occupied Deglo fall apart and die. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.